My name is Pestas and I would like to take this precious opportunity that I do invite you in my YouTube channel that we may continue directly pretty well in mathematics. Thereafter, make sure that you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. If you need me, leave a comment. Now, for now, allow me to take you through what cos p. We don't say that as p is a specific distance. Specific distance covered in a specific time. In a specific <coughs> in a specific time. <coughs> this time we may also say speed is the fastness of an object are covering a certain distance. Now, if we may take a distance of point here and point B, and then take object Y and object X, both objects are covering distance from this point here to this point B, and then maybe, for example, this one takes four hours, and this one takes uh, five hours. Therefore, we do conclude this object is faster or has a high speed compared to object X. Now, speed. How do we get speed? We do say speed is equal to distance over time. That's how we basically get speed. But we may extract this one from this triangle I'm going to draw here. Then I subdivide it this way. And then on top here, we have D standing for distance, we have S standing for speed, and we have T standing for, for time. Therefore, how do we apply this particular uh, uh, formula here? If you wanted to get speed, like in our case, they would say speed is equal to distance over time. If you wanted to get time, you say time is equal to distance out of speed. You wanted to get time, say time is equal to distance out of speed. If you wanted to get distance, you say distance is distance here, yeah, is equal to speed times time. <coughs> speed times time. Speed times time. <coughs> now, we may take an example here whereby we are told a car traveled a distance of 360 kilometers in five hours. Find the speed of the car in either kilometers per hour or meters per meters per second. And we do say that um, in such a in such a chapter of speed, we only have three things: distance, time, and speed. We only have three units there. You'll find most of the time that you've been given only two for you to get the that one. For example, we have our distance. Our distance is 360 kilometers. And then we have five hours, which happens to be our time. Five hours, <coughs> which happens to be our time. Therefore, from the question, we are told find the speed of the car. So, this is what we are supposed now to get. Then, after that, we just come to our formula here that I have written here, whereby we need to get the speed. The speed is here. Speed means, I mean, the speed is how to get speed. Speed is equals to distance out of time. Distance out of time. So, just say, speed is equal to distance out of time <clears throat> our distance here is 360 kilometers our time is five hours five hours five hours so if you simplify this one you find out the speed is 72 you find out the speed is 72 kilometers per hour. The speed is 72 kilometers per hour. We go to part two, whereby we are told to get the speed in meters per second. <coughs> we already have speed in kilometers per hour. <coughs> and remember, we have only two units that we use to get speed. It is either kilometers per hour or meters per, per second. So in such a chapter, if you are given time, if you are given time in minutes, you either change it to hours if the distance is in kilometers, or 
you change it to seconds if the distance that will be given is in meters but uh, we can change kilometers per hour to meters per second and vice versa i have done research and there is a constant that i already have that will help you convert these kilometers per hour into meters per second very easily this happens to be the constant that uh, 36 kilometers per hour is equals to 10 meters per second. This is a constant that I've already done research and proved that it can work. Now, <clears throat> we want to change this one to meters per second. Kilometers per hour should be on this side of the same kilometers per hour. So we ask ourselves, what about 72 kilometers per hour is equals to us? Is equals to us? Therefore, you can cross multiply. It means this one goes up, this one comes down. So 72 kilometers per hour times 10 meters per second out of 36 kilometers per hour. You start by canceling kilometers per hour and kilometers per hour. Thereafter, you are left with meters per second. So whatever we get here will be in meters per, per second. By that six one, by that six two, two times ten, it becomes twenty meters per second. That is how we convert kilometers per hour into meters per second. Thank you for watching. I invite you to watch the next clip.